Today we're going to solve a question from limits. The question is, if a function is defined from the domain 0 to infinity open interval to natural number is a co-domain. Now f of x is given as give of this following values. So the first value is give of x square plus x plus 1 upon x square plus 1. Similarly, you can notice the pattern that is 2 square is written here, 2 is written here and the 2 is written here. Similarly, 3 square is written here, 3 is written here and 3 is written here. As it is, everything will be same according to each term. This number will change. Now, as you can see for the nth term, it is n square, n and n here, which is given that n belongs to natural number. It's already given here. Now, first we need to simplify f of x. Then after simplifying f of x, we need to plug the value of f of x in the given limit and we have to calculate the limit. Now, first I'm going to simplify f of x. So f of x, I'm going to write this as, let's focus on the gif value. So I'm going to club two values here, x square and one. And immediately I'm going to divide by denominator. So immediately I'll get this as one plus x upon x square plus 1 here. Similarly, you're going to club two more values that is 4x square and 2. Immediately, you take 2 common and then divide. So, you'll get 2 plus x upon 2x square plus 1. And then same way, I can club two more terms and then similar way, I can write for the third term that is 3 plus x upon 3x square plus 1. And similarly, I can write the same thing for nth term. That will be n plus x upon and x square plus 1 here. Now, there's a property in the gift that is you can take the integer outside. So, I'm going to take 1, 2, 3 and so on till n outside. So that will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till n I'm going to take outside and the remaining n terms of gif is remaining. So, I'm going to write all the terms. So, x upon x square plus 1 plus x upon 2x square plus 1 here and so on till the nth term of the gift that is x upon and x square plus 1. Now I'm going to analyze these terms. So for x greater than 0 because it's given in the domain, the domain is 0 to infinity open interval, I'm going to analyze the term. So first term is x upon x square plus 1. Now if I divide by denominator by x, since x is not equal to 0, I can do that. 1 upon will get this as x plus 1 by x. Now since x is positive, x plus 1 by x will be greater than 2. That, that means this term will be less than 1 by 2 here. Similarly, I'm going to define the second term also. The second term is x upon 2x square plus 1. Again, I'm going to divide by x. I'll get this as 1 by 2x plus 1 by x. Now, if you apply AMGM between these two terms, you'll get to know the maximum value of this will be 2 root 2. So I think this value will be less than 1 by 2 root 2. Similarly, you're going to apply the same thing for the third term and then nth term. So for the nth term, you'll be writing this as x upon and x square plus 1. And the same thing you can write this as 1 upon by dividing by x and x plus 1 by x. And I can say that this term will be less than 1 upon, you can say here, 2 root over n here. Now, I can generalize one statement is all the gifs are less than 1 as you can see first one as well as second one as well as third one. As you go on forward, the value of the gif will be less than 1. So all the gifs are less than 1, that means the value of the, all the gifs will be equal to 0. So I can generalize this thing here. And similarly, till nth term, it will be 0. All the gifs will be 0. Now I think it's very easy to define the function because these values are zeros for x greater than 0. Now I can write f of x is clearly the sum of first and natural number. Now we got f of x is sum of first and natural number. So f of x, I'm going to write this as n into n plus 1 divided by 2 here. Now I'm going to plug the same value f of x here in the limit. So we'll get limit n is tending towards infinity. Here we'll get this as n into n plus 1 divided by 2 minus n. And whole thing divided by, if you plug f of x here, f of x square is written. So n square into n plus 1 whole square divided by 4 minus times it is written n cube into n plus 2 divided by 4. So I think here we can cancel out n, 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 n. We can cancel out and remaining thing we can easily write here that is limit n is tending towards infinity. Remaining is n plus 1 divided by you can write or you can take LCM here we can write n minus 1 divided by 2 here. Whole thing divided by after taking LCM 4 remaining is n into n plus 1 square minus you can see here n square into n plus 2 
Now 4 will come here after taking LCM. Now this 2 and this 4 will cancel out, will get limit. N is tending towards infinity. 2 times of N minus 1. Whole thing divided by. As you can see here, if you open this N plus 1 whole square, here you will get N cube in the first term and you will get N cube in the first term. So plus N cube minus N cube will cancel out. Similarly, if you open this, you will get 2N into N, that is 2N square. And here you will get 2N square. So I think these two terms will easily cancel out. So remaining, only one term will be remaining, that is N will be remaining here. So I think the moment you apply a limit, it will be equal to 2. The value of the limit will be equal to 2 and that's our final answer. And that will be all.